When it comes to V-twin riding, over the past decade, Honda Canada certainly has taken the middleweight cruiser category very seriously. Currently, Honda has five cruisers on offer in this division. Everything from classic roadsters to custom low riders, blacked out muscle cruisers to this guy. The top of Honda's 750 lineup, the retro classic VT750 Aero. Under the Aero's 14 liter fuel tank, you'll find a liquid cooled, fuel injected, 745 cc long stroke V-twin power plant that is fed by a single 34 millimeter throttle body. To help maximize combustion, each of those cylinders sports dual spark plugs and three valves, while beautiful staggered dual exhausts handle the result of all that spent air and fuel. When it comes to pulling out the stops, Honda hasn't held back there either. The VT comes stock with an ABS braking system that delivers one of the best linked front and rear braking systems out there. So the Aero looks great, sounds good and stops very well. But as always, you don't have to take my word for it. Here now is this week's guest road tester, lifelong Goldwing owner and former CMA riding instructor, Ken Edick. I've known you as a Goldwing rider for as long as I've known you. Have you ridden many cruisers lately? Got to be honest with you, it's my first cruiser ride of any significant uh, riding experience and I loved it. <laughs> I had a complete attitude change about how I ride. Number one, I was sitting so low I felt in the bike as opposed to on it. Yeah. And I've ridden multi-cylinder bikes of four cylinders and six cylinders for so long. I was a little apprehensive with a twin Yeah. because uh, I can't remember my last twin. So smooth, but there's the character of a twin. I immediately heard it in the exhaust system and, and the feel of the whole bike. Just loved it. And I guess the last uh, big difference was you weren't surrounded by a fairing. How did you like having the wind in your face? It was, it was uh, simplistic and yet it was the, the true element of motorcycle riding. This wind in your face experience that everybody talks about, that's what I felt. I was right out there, but I didn't feel vulnerable. I felt uh, just part of being one with the machine. Had a great time. Okay, so let's let's talk about the engine first. You've got a, a V-twin, well sorted. This motor's been around for a long time. What did you think of the engine? Incredibly smooth, uh, very responsive, and uh, I guess just typical Honda uh, power. It was, it was constant, it was there, um, and the rumble with the exhaust, the way it comes from Honda, was much more character than I ever expected, and I just loved it. I can't imagine wanting to change that sound that I experienced. Yeah, you sounded great pulling away from us on all those shots. Yeah. I, I had a lot, of time, a lot of time to figure out how to get the most benefit of it from shifting. Yeah. I backed off just to get that reverb back through the exhaust system, which I don't get in the other bikes that have, don't have the character that this one has. Now, going is one thing, stopping is another. I think what's really interesting about this bike is it's got ABS and linked brakes. What did you think? The link brake, I'm sort of used to. It's, it's something a lot of people still aren't, but I've been riding link braking for quite some time, and I love it. Uh, I wasn't in a, a feel of rush. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to be much more mellow riding the bike. Very solid braking for what this bike uh, gives you. It's just that whole attitude of slowing things down and really enjoying the ride. Now tell me about the, uh, the riding style. You're a little taller than me, so how did you find the seating position, the riding position? Yeah, I guess I, I was thinking that maybe it was too low because I, I jokingly sat down in it and that's the lowest seat height I've been on for a long time. I swear I've heard my ears pop right. when I go down. I think it's around 27 and change for a seat height. Very low, but again, this was all part of that sitting in. And yet when I put my feet up on the pegs because they weren't directly underneath me, mm -hmm. it was a relaxed fit. The handlebar placement was, uh, was so with the whole package. And the ride that I got was what amazed me. It was firm yet compliant. It didn't uh, jostle me around, but it wasn't sport bike firm, but I had a good feel for the road. Finally, you know, bikes like this are all about chrome. You know, I think half the, the fun of owning one is polishing it on Saturday morning. So chrome and paint. I, what did you think of the presentation? Unfortunately, right here with the, the, the cloud cover we've got, we're not really getting the benefit of this jeweled paint uh, that Honda has, and they've done some fantastic work on it. This red is really, really alive. The sun came out for a little bit on the ride this morning. But yeah, the, like you said, the, the, the chrome display as you see it yeah. is absolutely phenomenal, but it is a beautiful looking machine with the chrome uh, enhancements that they did all over the engine and the exhaust. So who do you think this bike 
is meant for? Who, who do you think would, would appreciate riding a bike like this? You know what, if I was going to get into touring as a part of my ride, I could see doing this. I don't need bigger because my whole attitude, like I say, changed. I slowed down, I just enjoyed the scenery, and I wanted to back off. For somebody that's thinking about moving up into a touring bracket, so many of the larger bikes are 1,000, 1,200, 13, 1,800 cc. Sometimes biggest is not best. Right. I think this one has all the character you could possibly need. It's, it's an impressive looking bike no matter who looks at it. The feel with the handlebars and everything else says, I'm a big bike in, in disguise. I think uh, anybody would be pleasantly surprised that wanted to get into touring about how, uh, how this fits the bill. Well, Ken, you've done a great job for us today. i got to say, it was a lot of fun listening to you uh, blap, blap, blap down the road. It yeah. was a blast. Yeah, I, I said, I've, oh, that's another thing I developed right away. I've now got the twitch for blipping the throttle. Never had that before. <laughs> that's standard equipment. Nice work. Had a great time.